Hi. In this video, we will have a look at Dataverse lookup columns. So the plan is whenever a record is created in my membership table, I need to get the contact name, which is David Smith here. Yeah. Okay. So for this, I'm going to uh, set a trigger Dataverse trigger as added or modified against the table name. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a compose. And to look for that uh, contact. So if you search using the scheme name contact, you can see contact table name type and the value. So I'm going to look, take the value there. Yeah. And uh, again, I'm going to add another compose. And that's a contact type. Adding another compose. Uh, contact table name. So I've got three properties here. Let's save this and uh, try to run the flow now. Okay, so I'm going to modify that record. Okay, I have modified the record now. I'm going to click the back button. And refresh the screen. So that's more uh, triggered the flow now and I can see that side of the record. That's a contact table. And that's, a, you know, the, the logical name of it, the contacts. Yeah. But where I can see the full name then. So we can't see the full name here. So even if you scroll down here, you can see here value, logical name and the type. That is a contact. That's it we won't be able to retrieve the lookup name here from the readable format of the name, which is David Smith in my case. Yeah. So let's have a look. Yeah, that's David Smith. So to get that, what we need to do here is we need to go to the Microsoft Dataverse connector and say get raw by ID. Now we know the schema name that is contacts. And the row ID is contact value. That's a good. So from here, we can get the first name and the last name or the full name or whatever that is then. Yeah. So if I say full name, I can get the full name now here. So if I run using the previous run. I should be able to see the. name now yeah okay so when I say get row by ID I got contacts here so I, I would like to uh, show you something else also here so let's go back to the contact table and here I have got another lookup called currency see that's British pounds there so how do I how do I get the currency text then so again we will be seeing currency type currency value and uh, the good yeah so let's see what's the difference there then. So remember this was the trigger. Yeah. So from the trigger, we won't be able to get the text value there. Yeah. That's what we found out. So for that, we need to pass the give to the relevant table, which is a contacts and then getting the name, name or title or uh, full name or whatever that is. Yeah. That's where we can get that text value then. And let's go back again and uh, check the run history. So if I look uh, get row by ID, show more. Yeah, let's copy this. Go to a notepad and search for currency. That's another lookup. See this now. See, you can see here. I can get that text value which is the British pound. There, see that along with the property name and the logical name and the keyword, the value, everything here, see that? So if I want to get that, uh, the text value, which is a British pound, 
from the lookup what I need is I need to use an expression here okay so let's delete this now this was mainly for the debug purpose I added so for the currency lookup value what we want is see this full name output so let me copy that there at the minute and go to this peak code copy the output of up to there okay copy everything and copy that and copy this instead of the full name I'm going to use that cut that go to the expression paste it there and click OK that so that's the expression you need I'm going to put that in the not that and a not see that that's the expression you need so that means output of the previous uh, step then uh, square bracket body slash that underscore transaction currency id underscore value which is the lookup then underscore value formatted yeah so if i test that now let's see what we are going to get we should be able to get the currency text there so i'm expecting see that should be british pound here it is see that so the difference here is where if the when the if the the format value of the lookup it doesn't come through the trigger so the only way we can get is unfortunately we need to pass get a row by id and pass the re relevant id and get the related text okay whereas if i am getting directly from the entity itself like get or list rows and if there is a lookup there you don't need to go and find another get row by id for that lookup because that as i mentioned you can get that value passing with underscore the scheme name underscore value then this is important at community dot display v1 dot formatted value i always thought this should be part of the trigger as well you know for the lookups but it's not so that means you know whenever whenever this is triggered i should be able to get that underscore contact formatted at value should be david smith but that's not the case yeah because it's part of the trigger uh, dataverse won't retrieve that uh, text value whereas if you use a get or list you should be able to get using this technique like underscore this remember that's the technique you need to use it you don't need another uh, you know get row by id to go and have a look up from the contact table and find the id and get the value you don't need to do that so you know it might be useful and um, i have found out that in the community you know a couple of people were asking this question so i thought i would make a video about it so remember from the trigger you won't be able to get that text formatted you know the user friendly text formatted value for that you need to you know you pass a get a row by id passing the id and get that whereas if you're using a get row by id directly uh, then you should be able to get for all the lookup values you should be able to use using this index you should be directly getting the value yeah hope this is clear thank you for watching